Sometimes adults just end up not getting along and that is perfectly fine and even healthy. Friendships can fail over time and the mature and rational thing to do is just to part ways amicably and live your lives the best you can apart. There's nothing wrong with remembering the fun times and positive experiences you had with someone that you're no longer friends with. It's all part of life to experience love in a variety of ways and to experience loss in just as many ways and learning to cope with those losses. Sometimes though, friendships just don't end on the best of terms and worse yet, sometimes the people involved in those friendships can't just let the relationship dissolve in a healthy and natural way. Which is actually what we're currently seeing in regards to Jen Gerard from Gerard Cosmetics and her horribly messy friendship breakup with Dustin Daly and Nick Snyder. Hey there, I'm here to interrupt your regularly scheduled entertainment. If you, the viewer, are actively involved with this situation, just remember, I am a literal internet nobody, and I have absolutely zero skin in the scam in regards to any of this. I'm putting this tiny disclaimer here because apparently some involved parties are reaching out to people to make threats or setting the story straight, and I honestly don't give a fuck. I'm here just to restate the information publicly made available through Twitter and literally nothing else. If you want to set the record straight, do it amongst yourselves like rational, mature, grown-ass adults and leave uninvolved bystanders out of it. So if you're like me, lurking about on Twitter, minding your own business, uh, and being really nosy actually, you might have seen some pretty concerning posts from Jen Gerard, Nick Snyder, Dustin Daly, and even Paige Christie floating around in regards to a very drastic falling out over a man named Charles. A lot of the people have been uh, pretty confused about what exactly happened and what's pretty ongoing actually, and I've been really nosy like I said, so I'm going to give like a rough rundown based upon the information available from the afflicted parties on Twitter. Now I do know and understand that there's more screenshots on Reddit and like a whole like other scenario going on on Reddit, but like I'm not trying to give an entire play-by-play, -play, step by step of everything that's happening because we'd be here for like over an hour and I've already made an hour long video, so I'm kind of whooped on that part. But um, more or less, I just want to do a quick like too long didn't read kind of video for people who just want to know the basics of what's going on. So this all appears to have started when Jen Gerard met a man through a dating app. I've seen it was supposedly Tinder, but honestly, all dating apps to me are quote unquote Tinder because I'm married and I don't fucking use dating apps. And that man was someone named Charles. According to the tweets I've been seeing floating around, Charles claimed to be a CEO of some major company, like a bank or something. With this man claiming to be some kind of multi-millionaire, this immediately set off red flags and alarm bells for Nick Snyder and Dustin Daly, as the things that they were seeing about this man, like in real life, was not adding up in comparison to the things that this man was saying about himself. The two of them advised Jen to look more into this man because he seemed suspicious and they were concerned for her overall like long-term safety. They had even offered to help her look into this man to verify or disprove his claims and to ensure he wasn't a danger to her, her friends, or her family. While at first it seemed that she was fine with their help looking into him, she soon turned this into claims of Nick and Dustin being controlling and trying to isolate her and dictate who she was allowed to date and be friends with. Despite only dating this person for like a little over two weeks, Jen began to like hardcore ride or die for this man and claimed she had tons and tons of proof that Nick and Dustin were trying to manipulate her, ruin her relationships, and that they had been doing this kind of stuff for a long time. With her apparent drastic shift in behavior, one might wonder what exactly did Nick and Dustin and possibly even Jen herself uncover about the man that she was dating. Well, that would be some troubling information it seems, from the obvious that he was not in fact the CEO of some overseas bank, and if he ever did have some sort of role within a company, that company no longer exists for some reason. Additionally, they discovered court records regarding him that indicated that he needed to wear an ankle monitor for like six months or so for a DV charge of all things, and the court date for that charge is still pending for 2024. And there is also apparently a full Google Doc that Nick made available or Nick found or something of this man scamming people out of their money since the 1990s, which is a very, very long time to be a con man. 
Now, of course, all of this is alleged, right? So don't like come after me for spreading this alleged information. But with all of this information about this man coming to light for the trio, instead of approaching with caution as you would expect, Jen continued to be on this man's side through everything, and that led Nick and Dustin to voicing concerns for their own well-being while Charles was present and even later, knowing that there was a possibility of him coming over during the night. What appears to have been like the straw that broke the camel's back, so to say, through everything, is that Nick and Dustin hosted an intervention for Jen's behavior while dating Charles, and when that intervention failed, Nick and Dustin moved out of the house that they shared with Jen and left the state of Texas, voicing that they did not feel safe being even in the same state as Jen's boyfriend. Which almost like leads you to wonder like what exactly has been unfolding like personally behind the scenes, like face to face, that would lead that this kind of like, hey, I feel like my life is threatened, I have to leave right now kind of situation going on. But again, I'm a bystander in this. I'm nosy, but I'm not so nosy that I'm gonna ask. Well, this could have been like the end of the situation, you know, Nick and Dustin leaving and Jen, you know, going off to frolic in a field of flowers with her new boo. Um, simple declarations of hope it all works out, um, but we didn't feel safe so we left and everything will be fine, good luck with your life. Obviously that's not where this tale ends. Soon after, you know, Nick and Dustin moved out of the state or were moving in the process of moving or whatever, uh, Jen began to post on Twitter and Reddit claims about them being just severely awful people to live with, chiming in that they were the ones that were controlling her life and that she was suspicious of them manipulating her for a long time. Which, hey, again, I have no skin in this game. Maybe that could be true. But as we'll see later, there's some screenshots that might contradict that. Jen began to throw out, like, literally every kind of accusation that could be thrown, from them not paying their rent or bills and wasting their money on food deliveries. She accused them of leaving the house a mess when they moved and letting their dogs piss and shit all over the place. She made claims that Nick was abusing Dustin and that Nick was snorting drugs in the bathroom. The claim in regards to Nick doing drugs in the bathroom is especially troubling, as there was evidently cameras within the bathroom, which is really fucking creepy, and that is how Jen allegedly caught Nick doing the drugs. Nick, however, posted a video, a literal video that I sat and watched for some fucking reason, of him taking a urine drug test with no cuts, just dick out, pissing in a cup, to disprove that he was snorting anything and that the claims were just a tactic to hurt him since he's in recovery. Charles also threw around claims despite not knowing, you know, any of these people really for any real considerable amount of time, echoing similar claims that Jen was making and oddly enough he also began to reach out to drama related YouTube channels to get his side of the story out there, which um, it's really weird. <laughs> Little clout chasey maybe? Going back um, to the camera situation for a second, Charles also threw out an accusation about Nick and Dustin using a camera, but this camera was within Jen's bedroom to supposedly spy on her and that it was such a huge crime to do this since there's an expectation of privacy that comes with a bedroom. But um, I think that's a drastic double standard because I would think that there is much more expectation of privacy in the shitter. Another oddity when it comes to Charles is that he began to follow Nick and Dustin's friends on social media and even began to throw out accusations against them, who for the most part were pretty uninvolved besides like the before mentioned like intervention for Jen's behavior. Specifically, I saw that he was doing so to Paige Christie and her husband. Regardless of the claims that these four people were slugging around, a lot of it boiled down to one side making a claim and the other side going, nuh uh. But from what I'm seeing, because mostly I'm just on Twitter, so I could be completely wrong about this, um, but from what I'm seeing, only Nick and Dustin, Nick for the most part, um, and those affiliated with them and their quote-unquote side, have really been supplying any sort of proof of the claims being false or exaggerated. With the back and forth claims between Nick, Dustin, Jen, people affiliated with Jen's store brand, Gerard Cosmetics, um, have began to request their affiliate codes be discontinued because who the fuck wants to be involved with this kind of like meltdown drama? And for photos not to be used on the Sora's website any longer. Paige Christie is one of the pretty vocal people here um, who had made a takedown request in regards to a photo on Jen's website. Specifically, the photo was one of her deceased relative. 
Despite this being a literal two-second thing to do, seeing as the deceased relative has no stakes in this friendship turmoil and cannot advocate for herself, instead of doing the morally correct, kind-hearted, rational thing to do and just take the fucking picture down, according to Paige, Jen opted instead to deny that request. She stated in a message to Paige that she had permission to use the photos forever and that the legal estate holder for the relative would need to reach out regarding the takedown notice which is just such a fucking dick move, dude. Paige has also stated that Jen has sent her lawyers after Paige's mother, who is the legal estate holder for the deceased relative, presumably as a scare tactic to get the Christie family to leave her alone. Which, um, I've seen, like, uh, Paige mention that her mom is a fucking badass, apparently, and is not going to take no for an answer during this, so good on her. And it was at that point, regarding like the simple and humane request of just removing these photos of a lost loved one uh, being fought over, that my opinion on this situation really, really changed. Originally, my viewpoint was simply that these three main individuals of the situation, Jen, Dustin, and Nick, they were all just kind of having a personal issue amongst themselves that could very well have been solved or at least dealt with entirely offline. And that in time, each of them could have cooled off and learned to just kind of like cope and exist in the same online spaces together again, even if they were no longer friends. But with how Jen has opted to treat Paige and her family is actually fairly vile in my opinion. Seeing as Paige and her family did not have like like I said, any stakes within this turmoil besides being concerned over Jen's safety as she is friends with Nick and Dustin. The fact that since Paige has requested that the photos of her relative be taken down from the Gerard Cosmetics site, Jen's boyfriend had began to like target Paige and her husband for literal nonsense that he knows absolutely nothing about and it's pretty alarming actually. Luckily Paige and her family are in the UK so I don't really feel like her physical well-being is in much danger. Uh, but it is really odd behavior for this man to target her and other people formally or even still associating with Jen. Seeing this as a bystander, despite how Jen claims he is very sweet to her personally, this looks like he is trying to isolate her by causing immense harm to her reputation as an influencer and brand owner. When I first started seeing all of these posts come out on Twitter about this falling out, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was pretty neutral to both sides as people can just become pretty heated and it's not uncommon for some foul shit to be flung around while a friendship is falling apart. But now, seeing that this Charles person is attempting to get his name out there while contacting drama channels and ruining Jen's brand integrity, things are starting to look even more suspicious about him specifically. Now, Jen claims that people have been warning her about Dustin and Nick for being controlling of her for a while now, but who are those people? On Twitter, several people can be referenced in feeling worried for Jen's safety in regards to Charles, but I haven't really seen any people come forward about the opposites in regards to Nick and Dustin being manipulative towards Jen. What happens when Jen continues to react with more accusations and alienate more people away from herself? What happens when Charles spreads rumors about someone with more influence than Jen? What happens when her business slowly begins to crumble apart due to the ongoing back and forth between these friends and newly scorned third parties? As a bystander, this all is just really sad to see unfold because it quickly looks like this is going to end with Jen's reputation in complete shambles and her having literally no one else to turn to but the stranger she met on a dating app. And that is a cause for concern. It's dangerous. And hopefully that pretty much catches everybody up with, like, the basics of what's going on between Jen Gerard, Nick Snyder, and Dustin Daly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That'd mean a lot to me. This video, like all of my content, is brought to you by Patreon. So thank you so much to Ippo, Chrome, Alec, and Ashley for subscribing. If you want to subscribe to me on Patreon, tiers start as little as $1 a month. Check the link in the description for more information. And with that, this is Minji signing off. Until next time. I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home. Need to be strong, every breath hold. Cause I can't move on till I let go.